are at the Vermont Ski and Snowboard Museum and we're interviewing Dennis Donahue. Dennis was Olympian back in, a uh, biathlete Olympian back in... 72 and 76. All right, so Dennis, how did you get into this uh, whole biathlon thing? Well, I skied by, um, cross country in high school at the Holderman School in Plymouth, New Hampshire. Went to Middlebury, skied all four events there, and it was during the uh, beginning of the Vietnam era. So, to me, the handwriting was on the wall in terms of getting drafted, or so I went through ROTC. There was quite a collection of cross-country skiers from Eastern colleges who had done the same thing. They were stationed in Fort Richardson, Alaska, which actually had an army-sponsored biathlon training center. So when I went on active duty, I requested to be assigned to Alaska, spent three years there. I was essentially a professional athlete. All we did was train. The benefit was um, every winter we went to Europe and raced in the World Championships. Uh, it was uh, a great program. Everybody progressed really quite rapidly. Um, and we had Pretty good success, top 20s, top 30s, um, during the three years that I was racing. So it was a good experience. Then I stayed with it after the service for another go around during the 76 Olympics, training on my own basically, living in Worcester, Vermont. Um, and after that, um, decided that I needed to get a life and went to work All right. full time teaching and coaching. All right, so that's what you're still doing, yeah. teaching and coaching. And I've been coaching. Uh, the last couple of decades in the Ford Sayer program in Hanover, New Hampshire. All right, and this is a, a, one exhibit here that we have as biathlon. This is uh, your rifle, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's right. Um, very heavy. Eastern professional ski career instructors and PSIA. And, and so what was what was your best result in the Olympics? Um, the best result actually was a team relay in 72 when we were six. Um, I don't want to brag, but if the challenge is out there, it's the best result for the, for the men ever um, at the Olympics. The current crew biathlon national team... Um, World Cup team has a sixth place in the, the World Cup, but not the Olympics. So the, the challenge is out there. Um, very exciting. It was a good good group. We were quite cohesive. And, uh, otherwise, I had a couple of top 20s and numerous top 30s. Um, I didn't ski as fast as the Europeans, but our shooting skills, generally the Americans, who was... Okay, so equal to or better than most of the Europeans. So. Uh, to be a good shooter Greg today Greg in biathlon is not enough. You have to be a top and 10 we'll uh, racer in order to have a chance to finish in the top the 10 in the World Cup. Or okay. the Olympics. Great. Thank you, Dennis. You're welcome. Thank you.